Hey guys, Milwaukee, no, Ryobi just came out with a new hammer drill. Very interesting, very, very interesting to me. As far as I know, this is the first Ryobi drill that has actually come with an auxiliary handle. So let's take a look at it together, see what we like, see what we don't like, and see what kind of power it has to go through different items that we'll throw at it. Stick with us. All right, so here's Ryobi's HP brushless 18 volt hammer drill driver. You can see here's hammer mode, push it over one, you're in the drill mode, and then you have 22 different clutch settings on this. This is very reminiscent to me in a way of like Milwaukee's Gen 1 drill, or it just, it gives me that feeling. You have a nice metal chuck here, which surprises me for this tool. It's not similar to the Gen 3 Milwaukee, but it is in a way. If we take a look at the Gen 3 Milwaukee, just for size in comparison, the Milwaukee is significantly smaller and much more powerful. What I like about this chuck is that it's not plastic. I mean, when you get a comparably priced drill, this is a small DeWalt drill, but it's the plastic chuck around here. And DIY guys, uh, you know, might rub this up against something, screw up that plastic chuck. This metal one's gonna stick with it. I like that. Two speed drill, just like you would expect. Normal forward in reverse is easy. Trigger is good. You have zero to 500 RPMs on low, zero to 2100 RPMs on high. You have an LED light that's gonna shine up. Very standard, I mean, you know, it's, it's TTI, right? What burns me about this, as I've said in the other ones, it gives me this reminder of the similar type of finger slots that I find on like Glock Gen 4s and below. I, I, I'm not a fan. If your hand doesn't fit this, or if you're drilling in a different place and you don't have you know, the exact same thing on it, this sticks out. If Ryobi, if you're listening, please remove it. There's other things. I, here's a good example. My knife that I carry every day. It's got tiny finger slots. They fit, but they give you, they, they don't fit my hand perfect but they're not too big to get annoying. And if you're cutting in different places, they give you slight pieces to grab onto. In this case, it just sticks out way too far. And I mean, if you look, it's just, if it was half that, it wouldn't even be an issue. But it's not, and it drives me insane, so sorry about going down that rabbit hole. You do have rubber on the front here, on each side and the back, so when you set it down, it's Perfect. You don't have any rubber on the bottom, so you're setting it down on part of the battery. Too bad they didn't put two little rubber pieces here where they just put one plus. Let's get into drilling and hammer drilling and see what this will do. This hammer drill driver has the two additional ports in the back. They call for a P197 to be used at a minimum. I believe that's a four amp hour battery. I'm gonna tell you that if you're buying the HP tool, make sure you have the high performance battery. So I'd like to prove a point and it may fail, but I'm gonna try to prove a point here and use the HP 2.0 amp hour battery. I believe that's too small of a battery for this. It will work in, it'll work in some th conditions, there's no doubt, right? But when we are talking about going up into larger bits and seeing what a drill will do, this is too small, but let's just go through it. Homeowners, in my opinion, right, use their drills or something less, but in the, maybe in a different situation because they don't have all the tools to choose from. So we're gonna start out with three quarter. We'll start out farther away and work our way in so the wood doesn't really affect us. We're gonna be in high here. This should be no issue. None at all. We're just gonna work our way up to try to figure out how big we can go in high. Seven eighths. That kind of pushed her a little. That one sounded a lot better. Let's go to one inch. 
I have the feeling we're going to find our limit here just based off of the specs. Nope. Pretty impressive. We'll go up to an inch and a quarter. big deal. That was awesome. Inch and a half. We're still on speed two. See we had a light blink down here. So it'll do inch and a quarter, no issue. Won't do inch and a half. Let's prove something maybe. Four amp hour, this is the new high performance. Again, we went over the HP and high performance in a video back. Let's try it. Let's go the right way, huh? Look at that. No issue. So, I want to show you something. I'm going to push a little bit on this. Again, you shouldn't push this stuff. Let the drill do it. But I'm going to push a little bit and see what happens. Chewed it up. No issue. I want to take the new 4 amp hour out and put the HP, which is going to be the old 6 amp hour in, just see if there's any difference in power output. Probably not, but just for fun. This actually sounded more powerful to me. I'm going to push a little bit on this one. I think that cutout on the end was pushing in, going through. Let's hit this knot and just see what happens. That's two cutouts, so maybe, maybe, four amp hour high performance new one. Tiny knot right here. Cutout. Let's try her here. Cut up. Don't see a huge difference in high performance to 6 amp hour and it's pretty impressive that we can hit this inch and a half uh, spade bit on speed level 2. So that's given me quite a bit of confidence with this. Uh, let's try something that's going to be way out of the realm here. For those of you who watch this channel this is uh, very familiar. 3 and 5 eighths inch just a boring bit. Now, we are going to take the auxiliary side handle here, and if you can see, it has little ledges here on each side that fit into the hammer marks on this drill. When I first got this, I thought, man, for a DIY drill, they could have done something a little bit more positive. And just in case someone misses those little tiny indents, they could get hurt. But the, I even... You're able to put this on without getting it in those intent. In, uh, you're able to put it on without getting in those detents or little notches in there, but it'll still hold. So this is uh, pretty fair. This is pure metal here. I would assume it's some sort of iron where the case around it is going to be more of an aluminum. So you can crank this guy down, and I heard a crack little something there, but I mean that's what people are going to do. Crank her down. Let's see what this does. Speed level one. We're going to use the four amp hour battery here. Just see how we can get through it real close to the vise. In fact, we're going to kind of overlap on another hole slightly. Yeah! That's the end of the hole, and this is a fairly short auxiliary handle for this bit. So, nice. That was definitely me that rocked over there a little bit and caused it to bind, not the drill. Although a more powerful drill would have ate through it, I'm not expecting it out of this due to the specs. Let's try for one right here and see what happens. Now I'm up to the 
six amp hour. This would be the old HP battery. That's interesting, huh? Let's try again. That too is very interesting. Again, I'm just trying to figure out if the new high performance is going to be better than the old HP. So here, we might have a little difference in the wood, might have a little knot. Let's just see what this will do. So to me, it still comes back, six amp hour HP, older battery, is more powerful than the four amp hour high performance. So as far as energy discharging, I'm still gonna guess it's not been boosted too much above the HP line in the new high performance battery. That's still very impressive for this drill because for a homeowner, you know, I mean, somebody might try it, but this is pretty much uncalled for. See here exactly what I mean about putting this thing on correctly. Come on, focus, focus, focus. It is not in the right slot. And I think that's due to it just being so small, but it's still secure. I just wanted to point that out. So at this point, we are hammer drilling with a 3 8 Milwaukee bit. This is 31,000 BPM. So this should, 3 8 bit, should just bury itself in here. Absolutely no issue. Four amp hour, high performance battery. What do you expect? It's a great hammer drill that buried this, no issue. Older block, this is one that we use to test a lot of our half inch stuff out on. I think 3 8 is a great size for this. So for those tests, this drill really rocked it. And it's really showing that it has a lot of good qualities as far as being a DIY drill and being able to handle a lot of what might be thrown at it on a very, very rare occasion if needed at home. I like that. Something that hits my mind right off the bat with a DIY drill is why not make it as easy as possible and as safe as possible for the user at home because this is realistically a very powerful drill for an inexperienced user, although it is, you know, their HP line, so the guy buying it does know that he's getting a higher end drill. This auxiliary handle is short. It's probably as long as it needs to be for the drill. It would be nice to have it a little bit longer in this case for this unit just so it's a little more controllable for the guy at home and I'd like to see it fit in here a little bit better because if the guy at home doesn't get it in just perfectly in the system it won't click into place and there's a chance that it flips off and this Ryobi drill hurts them. I can see this in a contractor space because I expect the professionals to get it in the right place, know what's going on, and still be careful. Maybe I expect too much, and maybe I'm asking too much here. Again, bash me in the comments. Feel free, that's how I feel. If you're gonna do a big, powerful drill for the homeowner, make it safe. So, love that it comes with it, it needs it, and wish it was a little bit better. Trigger on this, still pretty nice. I'm a trigger slob. I can tell the difference between this and a Milwaukee and the TTI stuff, but at the same point, very nice. Um, at least the new Milwaukee stuff, this could be the exact same Milwaukee Gen 1 trigger, but it, the handle here throws me off. I, I totally understand how somebody else might be like, dude, what's wrong? Why do you actually care about this little finger notch? Drives me insane. And it is what it is. There's a lot of tools out there uh, for the grip. And I like certain grips. And uh, this one isn't bad when I'm holding on to it in the perfect position. But when I move my hand around to get in different positions, man, it drives me nuts. Other than that, the clutch on this is going to be mechanical. You're going to be able to set it up to 
whatever you'd like to there. It's going to work just fine. The metal chuck, actually, you know, that big three and five eighths inch drill bit we use is a great test on these chucks because a lot of them will spit this that bit out just for no reason. It's been used and abused. This did not. So if this was a construction tool, I'd get out some metal. I'd start just banging away at this and I'd start drilling and drilling and drilling to see if we get some temperature issues. All the feedback I've got from you guys is this is a homeowner drill, so don't do that. So I won't. I'm going to leave this drill as it is, as an occasional use drill driver. It's going to be awesome as a very occasional use hammer drill. 3 8 ish is going to be max, but let's be real. If you're doing tap cons or something like that, you're doing much smaller stuff. And as a homeowner, if you're drilling th four 3 8 holes to put something in the ground or put something in your basement and secure it, that's a ton and you'll have zero issue with this. As we went through it, the two amp hour battery that is floating around here somewhere, this is not the high performance, does give you significantly less power than the four and the six. The four, the new high performance, doesn't seem to push out a lot more power, if any, than the six HP. So if you have an HP battery, I don't see the need to go out and be like, oh, the new high performance is here at upgrade. Enjoy what you have until it doesn't work anymore. Cool drill. Ask me some questions below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give me a like on this video, even if you hate the drill. Hey guys, thanks for your time. Have a great day.